Magic Leap One wants to be your first headset to blend real and virtual worlds. The goggle-eyed glasses aren't the first AR headgear on the market, though, and they won't be the last. But Magic Leap's AR vision started out even weirder. Dreams of biomechanical creatures that took people to wild worlds in the pages of a comic book CEO Roni Abovitz made back in 2012. If you want a history lesson as to where Magic Leap has been, let's go back in time all the way to 2013 with The Beast. This prototype, CEO Roni Abovitz actually built himself in his garage, and you would have to put your chin into this, look through these prisms to see the holographic effect, and the first effect was basically one floating pixel. And it didn't work at first, but eventually they built it up to work with that and other little holographic characters. Now the next iteration was something that you put on your head, but it looked like this. Really large, but you could at least float the lenses in front of your eyes. Then it moved on to something, this was the technical wearable ones, but they still had a tremendously large array, a massive cable that needed to be tethered to a big PC. So these PC carts here are the living examples of what that looked like then before now where it's connected to a little belt pack computer and something that looks relatively a lot more lightweight that you put on your head. The Magic Leap 1 isn't the end. It's actually what the company calls its first step forward. A second and third version are apparently in the works with aims at improving the field of view and working better with glasses. We're a lot further along than where things used to be, but Magic Leap's future comic book dreams aren't all here yet.